people listen more than they watch. But the problem and the mistake people make in this business is that either they don't use sound at all, and that's a, that's a rookie mistake, or they use too much sound. If you're going to use sound, you need to blend it seamlessly. The analogy I like to use is uh, if you've ever ridden on a train, an Amtrak train mm -hmm. over a really smooth piece of track, all that rail, all those rails, they feel like one. Right. But on a sloppy piece of track, you hear every junction and you feel every junction. Well, you want your story to be like that smooth piece of track. We're on a rail here. The rail is seamless, hopefully, in its sound and its narration and pictures, and they all go smoothly together. My theory is that if you notice any one piece of sound, if it calls attention to itself, then it takes away from the story. I have this Benihana theory. Ever read that Benihana? Mm -hmm. What do you yeah, remember? That was in your first book. Right. What right. do you remember? Still, it's in the second book. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> then, then some things don't change. <laughs> what do you remember about Benihana? The oh, meal it's, it's active. You right. know, it's, you know, it's yeah. interactive. Oh, not it's interactive, but very active. Fun to watch. Do you remember the meal of the chef? The chef. The chef. Yeah. Well, television news should be about the meal. And this chair I'm sitting in right here, right? Mm -hmm. When you look at it, do you see all the parts and the screws and the backs? That went, no. I see a chair. Mm -hmm. The story is like a chair. It's to sit in. It's to watch. It's to learn something from. But a lot of people, especially when they're young in this business, get carried away with this idea that um, they want to show off their craftsmanship to get ahead in the business. And oftentimes, the best craftsmanship is the invisible craftsmanship, where you focus on the story, because we are about the story. I mean, I, I talk to the photographers all the time, and they're cramming for more gnats, cramming for more gnats, cramming for more gnats. They throw it in between sentences for crying out loud, because they can. Mm -hmm. And um, I just think that gets in the way of the story. It's like, yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Yeah, I'm an editor. I was here. I, I was a photographer. I got this out. Yeah, I can squeeze this in. Yeah, I'm technically proficient. But it takes away from the story. But sometimes so, it adds, too. Not very often. No? Not very often. I haven't seen it add very often. I mean, I, I mean, some of the people who are the most renowned storytellers in this country use too much natural sound. Mm -hmm. At least finish a sentence without interrupting yourself, okay? Mm -hmm. At least finish a sentence. Yeah. I mean, don't start reading a track, nat sound, nat sound, so that you can put in more, nat sound, nat sound, nat sound, and then finish the sentence, nat mm -hmm. sound, nat sound. It just gets ponderous.